and Myers, was it you that I was tweeting back and forth with with the Daryl Hall clip today? Yes. <laughs> this guy, I swear. Um, I don't know if I love to hate him or hate to love him, but uh, <laughs> he's just so consistently pretentious. <laughs> he's just so consistently pretentious and like super obsessed with himself. Y'all got to give me some backstory. What happened? I'll so, <laughs> um, I brought up everybody's favorite guy. A guy that if you mention at a party, uh -huh. everyone will be happy. Bill Maher, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> guy that pisses nobody off. Um, Never. Well, he, he had Daryl Hall on his podcast. And Daryl Hall's doing a show near me in a couple of weeks. And uh -huh. I'm mulling over if I want to go. So I was watching the interview. Gotcha. And, you know, Bill says to him, you have a partner musical partner speaking of john oates mm -hmm. and immediately daryl hall tenses up and he's just like i don't have a partner i have a business partner but i don't have a partner i mean you have a partner so it's a little different than i don't have a partner you're you not think john oates is my partner you're still tour together don't you yeah but he's not my partner well you're he's my business partner uh, he's oh not geez my well, look what i've stumbled into here he's, I, not, I, he's I, not my creative partner okay I, i'm not trying <laughs> Not try to, I was just saying. And Daryl Hall goes so far as to crack open a bottle of booze and pour himself a drink. Holy he shit. gets on a tear about how they're not partners. I know that you guys still tour and put out records, so that, to me, that's a partner. I mean, it's like... Yeah, we don't put out records. <laughs> what was the we, last we, record you put out with And him? I think uh, it was 10 years ago. To me, that's fairly recent. It's 21st century. John and I are brothers, right? We, but we are not creative brothers. We are business partners. We did a lot of stuff. We've always been very separate. And, and it's, it's a really important thing for me. <laughs> well, you, but you certainly weren't separate on the records. And you, I don't, mm. and, and were you separate creating them? No. We were separate on the records, too. It's bizarre. And I didn't even know about that dynamic, but I, until I heard your episode about him. And when you guys talked about that at He's the so end of the crazy. show about Daryl having this attitude. And it was just like, I, I've seen a lot of artists in interviews get, you know, pissed off, but Daryl Hall is seething for those few seconds there, which is very funny to me. Is, yeah. And John Oates, like, God bless him. He just must be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to cry all the way to the bank as you do this. But the whole, like, uh, Hall Oates is 80-20 and I'm 80%. Like, <laughs> good God. Does John Oates get as angry in interviews if you mention this stuff to him? No, it, he, everything rolls off his back because he's, like, supposed to be pretty down to earth from what I hear right. anyway. Um, and he's just like, okay, cool. I got my solo, got my stuff, whatever. And Daryl's like, Oh, it's just like grow up. That's wild. And you know what? It would be different too if it was like the Daryl Hall band, you know? Mm. I mean, but it's Hall oh and folks. Like, how in the hell do you get off just like dissing your partner? I mean, that's like saying I don't have Stephanie. It's not a Myers and Pena production. No, <laughs> but that's why I was like, well, we have a 50 50 podcast. Yeah. You know? Like a percentage. <laughs> that's wild. I, I hope that both of you in the in the future are successful and wealthy enough that you can afford to go on those diva tantrums that Daryl Hall does <laughs> if you so are so inclined. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is Stephanie and Stephanie. No, no, that's there's one step. Yeah, there's only one. Only one. Only one. Oh, sorry. <laughs>